All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your boy, and only how all my adventures doing. So, some of you guys might remember my video of brainstorming ideas. So, we made up this concept from the last video I posted of it. Um, so, it turns out that right now, 2D slash 3D is beyond my capabilities at this moment. But the thing is, what I'm doing right now is overachieving for a brand new developer, and I am just jumping the board and jumping into the deep ends of it instead of just getting, you know, a few medals around my belt, you know. <laughs> so I thought it was it would be easier should do is stick with 2d so i don't think i can actually promise the whole 2d slash 3d world type thing just yet because with this being my first game ever being made or created um i want to at least show that i can finish a game and i also realize that most other games that are successful don't even go to like far ends like to graphics or you know how do I say complicated like graphics they don't do like too much of the real complicated shit it's sort of that work like work easier not harder type situation I want to bring up uh, Vampire Survivor as one of it as one of those it's not complicated it's simple and it's extremely popular i can bring up slate aspire you know those type of roguelike games they're easy and simple and it's all about the gameplay so here's the thing i am more than likely going to do the idea i had in my head and give somebody a concept and have them draw a map then I'm going to come over and do something a little bit simple like this. Now, this is just concept. I feel like it's going to be a better idea towards development. And plus, I'll get like the game going a lot faster. And this will save me money because <laughs> I got I had to think about it in the long run. If I was to do this, this would be a lot cheaper and it'll be a lot faster to give to people to play. But the same thing is the way I have it set up in mind is a way that I can, you know, still have the Pokemon related, you know, battling and everything. So for me, I was learning a little bit more about um, Godot 4 and I actually managed to put in a little bit of the tests around just to show like the concept in mind. And this is sort of the concept I had of clicking around, dragging it. Yes, I did set all that up. And having the player go around, click certain things, go into the house, you know, have like a background image, or I can have an image of the room and they can explore and click things. This would be a lot easier for people to, you know, get into. Thing is, I'm not going to be looking forward to creating collision and keeping the players inside. That's going to be very fun, depending on how I find the person who will make these maps. So, yeah. So it, the only issue I was also thinking of is if if I make the box too too high, I can make somebody accidentally touch the collision box and they'll go into a place when they're just trying to walk by it and go to the player house, I can fix that easily, easily. I could just push, put like a number, well, put one of the keys as a confirm button to confirm you want to go into this place and boom, you go in. Now, don't let the whole sprite image thing fool you. I do plan on having a player show up before you go into battle all the time. So that, may, so that makes it easier for me to make the closet function that I had in mind to where you can change sprites of, of other NPCs. 
So your main character that you start with isn't actually your main character is going to be more that they are changeable just to have a little bit of fun. So the icon will change and we enter battle that character will also change too. I thought about the whole sprite thing and I've been looking around. There isn't too much of a like sprite sheet that I actually want that I feel like will mix with this game. And that's also another thing as well. I can't really find any like 3D people that can actually pick up the art style that I want. And with that, I also in the future, if this does take off, want to actually start a team and do a remake of the game into 2D slash 3D. But at the moment, I need, like I said, more medals under my belt when it comes to development. So I'm going to make it easier on myself <laughs> and do it this way. And the interesting thing about doing it this way is that I have so many ideas I can actually throw out. And it's, it's way more simple this way. Because the most complicated thing of game development and any as starting out is the controller. I will say this, getting the character ready is the most complicated, annoying thing ever. <laughs> like even Unity is annoying for that shit and I hate it so much. But in Godot, I was able to set this up in just like, I don't know, five minutes just looking at watching a video and just seeing what they what they were doing um this doesn't mean i'm switching over to, to uh uh godot just yet did i say a godot or unity i could have sworn i said a godot at one point <laughs> i was messing with my godot capture card at one point and yeah that that's probably came out but um but with godot who knows because if the game does take off, I don't have to like extra pay like a uh, fucking taxes, like immediate fucking taxes like uh, Unity does. Like if you start making over like a certain amount, Unity is like, hey, you're forced to upgrade. There is no if, ands and buts about it. If you're getting funded above this, this point, you have to go up and Unity has nothing for me there. Just because I have to think about it. I don't have a team. So upgrading in Unity is useless for me. They're just basically just picking out of my pockets. That's basically what it is. And I have no use for that. So Godot could be a thing. I can switch everything over pretty easily here. It's just I don't know how to make the Monster Girls over here. Or probably the battle system. Who knows? Um, there's a lot that I can do. Godot really needs to get like an actual asset store going like as good as Unity's. Like Godot 4 has so much fucking potential. I will say that Godot just has so much fucking potential that I think a lot more people need to get behind. Well, yeah, with that said, shit, dude, have you? Man, I will say this, this, some of these souls actually look nice. I just don't know how to use them just yet. That's going to be the fun part of learning that. But I'm pretty sure I could put everything together. I mean, it didn't take me long to put this together. It was just for some reason I was over here and it kept popping this up. So, no, it was all the way around. I was over here on this screen. I was thinking I was doing something wrong because I was clicking over here, just clicking everywhere. And for some reason, I was trying to get this to show up. No, okay, that's, that's even more confusing. <laughs> I was on this side and I was kept pushing play, but this didn't show up player kept showing up so it was just this empty space where my character was going around and the camera wasn't following it and i i knew i had it in there but for some reason 
<laughs> that kept showing up and I did it all correctly over here. I kept deleting it and bringing back stuff. I did it all correctly over here. <laughs> so I thought I was doing something wrong. No, it was just, it was just <laughs> this shit just doing other things that I don't need it to do. But yeah, I fixed that. I, I've been doing it correctly up until this point and I'm proud of myself. Okay. <laughs> um, huh. So I'm going to have to learn how to make Pokemon battles now, capture them and stuff like that. Is that a good deal? As I'm learning Unity, just in case Unity doesn't work out for me. Because who knows? Hey, this is probably going to be the third time I, I swap like game engines. But this is the perfect time to do it, considering I am starting. I'm a starting developer, so this is a good time to do it and, you know, actually pick that engine that I enjoy the most and that is easy, easier for me to learn so I can make other games. So with that said, <laughs> there you go. Um, I don't really have too many plans with Godot considering that well no never mind I can't say that because Unity has this annoying thing to where it's standard pipeline and you you are P, universal pipeline standard pipeline and versus universal pipeline to where I want to use universal pipeline but all of the assets that are inside of the asset store are freaking standard and standard has lower frame rate than the universal which is really annoying that i cannot get half of the things i want working in there but on the bright side if i do it on godot if i ever do manage to get the game going i can probably convert it to mobile as well just as a mobile release so that's also a thing just let me know what you guys think because i think this would be a lot easier just because you know it's a lot less tedious and easier for the for players to go around you know i know it's not as exciting as watching sprite go through a world but to be honest i could probably mix those two things together like any water that would be down here I can mix together and just have it animated and stuff like that. That could be possible. Hmm. Oh yeah, I can have NPCs running back and forth. But the only issue is you wouldn't be able to tell what direction that they're looking. So I have to figure out something with that maybe have the image flip back and forth for whichever direction you're going either that or make it a hmm give him like a vision <laughs> i guess like a pov of like you guys know like the little stealth missions to where it has like the little cone of vision to where they'll see you I could put that <laughs> just to indicate that, but then it'll look like a spy game. Um, fuck, dude. Now that I'm thinking about it, <laughs> that is going to be a little bit awkward. Hmm. I could make it a random encounter with a trainer. As you're just walking through, it just gives you a random encounter of a train. No, that'd be a that'd be a dick thing to do, but it will also be interesting too. I don't know. I'm gonna have to spitball more on that because having NPCs walk around could be nice, but having trainers not visible and you just walking around and boom, random encounter is just like oop, luck factor <laughs> of not getting a trainer to fight. That could that could be fun. But it also could be tedious and annoying. Who knows? 
Anywho, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Just telling you guys that I don't think I can deliver that as of right now with my skill set that I have. And with the people I'm looking for, I would have to dig a, a whole lot deeper just to find like somebody who can actually, you know, do my concept. And not only that, this, I don't have to worry about frame rate because it's just images going around. So it shouldn't have any frame issues other than me still wanting to have animated monster girls, you know, inside of their battle. So I still wanted it to be the classic battle scene to where it has animations, effects, shit like that. And I still want there to be, you know, fantasy to it. Like I have so many ideas that I want to put on paper and now I can do it if I do the 2D a lot faster, but I don't want to rush the game as well, but it will help me, you know, get something out and playable. With that, well, towards the end of the year. With that said, um, let me know you guys' thoughts on this and give me a little bit of feedback. It, like I said, I'm still going to have the normal, like, battle system, shit like that, and other ideas that I have balled up and I'm trying not to spoil right now, just throw out there. <laughs> well, that's it. Until then, peace out. I'm just going to end it there. <laughs> Before I get that urge. <laughs>